Hello, I'm Teacher Robin. Welcome to another live streaming class. If this is your first time to join us, let me explain how the classes work. So today we're going to be talking about the airport experience. So if you have a question during the class, you can write your question in the comments and I'll be checking them as we go along. Uh, you can also write a comment to tell me your name, where you're joining from, uh, and again, any other questions you might have related to our topic today. So. Uh, why have I chosen this topic? Because many of you are learning English because you want to travel more and uh, this is a key uh, factor of being able to travel is, is speaking English and communicating when you are at the airport. So I'm going to take you through the airport experience, meaning from when you arrive to the airport until you get on your flight, uh, some key expressions so that you can uh, go through the airport very smoothly, okay? So the first thing that you do when you get to the airport is you have to check in, okay? So when you go to the check-in desk and uh, you leave your suitcases there, your luggage, someone may ask you, did you pack your suitcase yourself? Okay, so this means uh, are you carrying something that someone else gave you? Uh, obviously, normally the answer is no, uh, you can say no. Uh, they'll ask you, has anyone given you anything to take on the flight for them? Okay, so this is similar, like is everything in your suitcase, does it belong to you or are you carrying something for someone else? And they'll probably ask you, do you have any sharp items like knives or scissors in your suitcase? Okay, so you have to double check anything that is not allowed on the flight, you have to remove those from your suitcase and either give them to someone or throw them away. Okay, so once you've gone through the check-in, you, uh, depending on where you're traveling, yeah, you have to go through the security checkpoint, okay? So this is where you might have to take off your shoes, um, you have to scan your, your luggage and your clothes, etc. Okay, so some uh, typical expressions that people will use there are please place all mobile phones, keys, uh, and wallets in the tray, okay? So you have a separate tray and you need to put, uh, if you're wearing a belt or something that might, uh, might trigger the machine, you have to put that in the, in the tray separately, okay? Uh, make sure all laptop computers are out of your bags to go through the scanners, okay? So if you are carrying a laptop or a tablet or a Kindle, something like that, you have to put it, again, in another tray so that you can go through the security checkpoint. Okay, uh, so let's say that you go through and you hear the beep, 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 beep. Okay, so somebody might say, uh, ma'am or sir, our machine has detected an irregularity. Please go and speak to my colleague who will complete the security search, okay? So this just means you have to go with that person and they will ask you, um, are you wearing any, um, any kind of jewelry or a belt or something that might have triggered the alarm, maybe your keys or something like that. So they'll do a double check before you, uh, you proceed through security. Okay, so once you are in the secure area of the airport, you will probably have to walk through at least the duty-free area, okay? So this is where you can buy all kinds of different items and not pay any tax, okay? So uh, let's say you are looking to buy something in the duty-free. You can say, hi, uh, would you be able to tell me if there is a sample? for this aftershave, okay? So you might want to try something before you actually buy it. Um, excuse me, could you tell me if there is any more of the free cheese samples left? Okay, so maybe a lot of times in Duty Free, um, they have typical foods from that area. So maybe um, they have something that you might want to try before you buy, like a special kind of sausage or cheese or even some kinds of alcohol or drinks. Um, they will let you taste before you buy them because maybe you've never uh, actually tried it before. Okay, so now you've gone through the duty free, maybe you've bought a, uh, a present for a friend or your family, and now it's time to board your plane. 
Okay, so for example, something that you'll hear is the flight number. Okay, so flight YY555 to New York City is ready for boarding. Okay, so when you hear this, when you hear your flight number, you know that you have to go to your gate. And uh, you will probably also hear, please have your boarding cards ready and passports, oh, passports open at the photo page, okay? So if you are traveling using your passport, especially if you're traveling internationally, you have to open your passport and the, the page that shows your photo is the one that they will check with your boarding pass, okay? So it's always a good idea to have that ready to go. Okay, again, with boarding, once you board the plane, uh, the flight attendant, the people working on the plane, will say something like, please place all larger pieces of hand luggage in the overhead lockers uh, once on board the aircraft. Okay, so if you have like a big backpack or a suitcase, a carry-on suitcase, you're going to want to put those overhead um, and they can help you if that's necessary. And then the smaller items like a purse or something small, your laptop maybe, will go underneath your, uh, your seat, so at your feet. Okay, so now that we've been through, uh, you've boarded the plane and you're ready to go on your, on your vacation or on your trip, wherever you're going. So I want to ask you some questions to practice what we've learned today and you can write your answers in the comments. So my question is, when was the last time you took a flight and where did you go? And you can also tell me what was your experience like, okay? Did you have a good experience at the airport? Did you have to communicate in English? Was it difficult for you? Okay, so you can let me know all of that in the comments, okay? And uh, let me tell you more about our course as you're writing your comments. Uh, we have a complete course at ABBA. If you're not studying with us already, you can check us out at abbaenglish.com. We have a complete course from beginners to business level. And uh, our course is available on both web and mobile versions. So you can download the app and take it with you when you travel, for example. Or if you're at home, you can study on the web version. So our course is from beginners to business. It has 144 units and it has it's based on short films. And then you have grammar explanations from teachers and exercises to practice all of your skills. Okay, and in addition to our course, we have... Um, a blog called the ABBA Journal. So there you can find articles about anything you can possibly think of in, uh, in English, especially uh, if you're interested in travel, you can find lots of articles about English for travel. You can also find us on all of the social media networks. So Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, and YouTube. We're updating those channels every day. And I want to point out one more thing about our app. If you study with the app, you can uh, continue practicing what we've learned in today's class with a feature called Chill Out Learning, okay? So this is in the Live English section of our app. So if you go into the app and you click on the lightning bolt, you can actually uh, go into Live English. And we have a series of podcasts which are really good to listen to, uh, to practice. And uh, we call it Chill Out Learning because you can listen to them right before you go to bed, and then as you're sleeping, you kind of retain this information that you've practiced just before bed. All right, so we have a Chill Out Learning episode uh, podcast about this very topic, airport experience. So if you have just joined us or you want to watch again, if you want to practice more, go to the Live English section of our app, which is free and you can listen to these very useful podcasts, okay? So you have a podcast here, you can listen and, uh, and keep practicing, okay? So I see people are still writing their answers, so I'm gonna give you a few more minutes and I'm going to tell you what we're going to talk about next week. So in next week's class, we're, I'm go excuse me, we're going to talk about some alternatives to common adjectives, okay? So why is this important? Many students say, okay, I feel like I know English, but I'm always using the same words, the same adjectives over and over again to describe things. So how can I increase my vocabulary? So I'm going to give you some tips and some recommendations on alternatives for the adjectives that we always use, like good, bad, tired, etc. Okay, so we're going to expand your vocabulary next week. 
Okay, so I want to thank everyone who has joined our class today. I hope this is useful for you. Next time that you go to the airport, you'll recognize some of the sentences, some of the key phrases that you heard today, and hopefully your airport experience will go very smoothly. So I look forward to reading your answers. Uh, you Tell me where you last traveled and uh, how was your experience, okay? And I hope you can join us next week for our alternatives to common adjectives uh, class. So have a great rest of your day. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.